Welcome to Q&A Software, the GST compliant accounting software for your company. In this video, I will be talking about tax adjustment. You can find this article by going into the URL shown below. There are instances where we may need to adjust and account for the input and output tax in certain taxable period. For example, in the GST transitional rules, we may need to account for output tax of invoices that we have already issued to our customer that is before 1st of April 2015 but we still have not delivered the goods to the customer. Another example can be seen in contract services where contracts are signed before 1st of April 2015 but last until after the implementation of GST. For example, 1st of January 2015 until 31st December 2015. Thus, we will have to account for the output tax for these invoices. Before we begin, kindly ensure that you have AJP and AJS tax codes in the system. If you do not have it, you can create it manually. Also, make sure the GST settings has been set. Go to GST, GST settings, go to the adjustment tab, and select the account for output tax, which is GST expenses account and GST control account for input tax. Now to create the adjustment, go to Tax Adjustment, Output Tax Adjustment. The account for GST expenses will be automatically selected reflecting what you have set in the Output Tax GST Expenses account in GST setting. Enter the taxable amount and the tax amount will be automatically calculated based on the percentage of tax code selected and the tax amount entered. System will generate a double entry to account for the output tax. Click Save to save the output tax adjustment. Now, for input tax adjustment, kindly go to Tax Adjustment, Input Tax Adjustment. Similarly, the account for GST control will be automatically reflecting what you have set in Input Tax GST Control account in GST setting. And fill in the taxable amount. The tax amount is the percentage that was set for the code, which is 6%. System will generate a double entry to account for the input tax. Finally, click Save to save the input tax adjustment. Thank you for watching.